Let's take a closer look at the phenomena behind the moon phases. The revolution of the moon around the Earth makes the moon appear as if it is changing shape in the sky. The phases of the moon are caused by different angles from which we see the bright parts of the moon's surface, which are brightened by the reflections of the sun. Every 29.5 days, the moon passes through a cycle with four major shapes. Let's study the distance between Earth and Moon which corresponds to the anomalistic lunar cycle. The Moon revolves around the Earth in the form of an ellipse which creates two characteristic positions. The perigee, the point where the Moon is closest to the Earth, and the apogee, the point where it is farthest from it. During its cycle, the Moon passes through these two points. When the Moon is full and it is in the perigee, it appears to us about 14% bigger than usual. This is called the supermoon. Next, the draconic lunar cycle shows when the path of the moon intersects with the ecliptic plane. This plane is the one on which Earth orbits around the sun. The moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted five degrees with respect to this plane and cuts it in two places. These are the nodes. During this cycle, when the moon is in its ascending phase, it rises with respect to the ecliptic plane, and conversely it is said to be descending. When moon, earth, and sun are all on the same plane, they may not be aligned. The moon must be either in its new or full phase. When that happens, an eclipse event happens on earth. A lunar eclipse if the moon is in full phase, or a solar eclipse if the moon is in new phase. However, the actual visibility of the eclipse is dependent on various factors, such as the geographical position of the viewer.